Hello viewers, I am Dr. Livingston. In this video, I am going to explain about the neurotransmitter glycine. First of all, what is glycine? Glycine is the major inhibitory neurotransmitter. They are present in the brain stem and spinal cord. That involves in variety of motor and sensory functions. And where are they found in? Glycine neurotransmitters are found in four brain. This is the part of the brain, four brain. And also it found in the hippocampus of the brain. This area of the brain, the neurotransmitter glycine is found in. Then what are the receptors involved in the binding of the glycine neurotransmitters? Glycine receptors are a type of ionotropic receptor. These ionotropic receptors that produces it affects through chloride current. That means they are releasing of the chloride ion from the ionotropic receptors and produce the inhibitory effect. Glycine neurotransmitter also acts as a co-agonist at NMDA receptors. NMDA means N-methyl D-aspartate receptor. It is a glutamate receptor. This receptor is activated when the glutamate and glycines are binding with these receptors and start to releasing of the positive charge ions in the membrane and produce the physiological effects. And it also consists of the allosteric binding site this leads to the enzymatic action of the neurotransmitters. Now let's see about the synthesis of the glycines. Our body also produces glycine on its own. Glycine is also synthesized from the natural biochemical compounds, most often from serine compound and also they are synthesized from choline and threonine. The serine, choline, threonines are obtained from the diet. So from the diet, the serine is obtained, then it is directly converted into glycine in the presence of enzyme serine hydroxymethyl transferase. Then threonine is converted into glycine by the enzyme threonine aldolase and choline is converted into betanin from the betanin to sarcosin from sarcosin they are later on synthesized the product is glycine so once synthesized the glycine neurotransmitter they are stored in the vesicles they are present in the presynaptic neuron then let's see about the how they how do they transmit it? How their transmission takes place the neurotransmitter of glycine? Here I represented the inhibitory neuron and exhibitory neuron and also the glial cells. So inhibitory neuron, which is the presynapse, this area is called as post synapse. In between the presynapse and post synapse, this area is called as synaptic clumps. In the excitatory neurons, this is the post, this is the post synaptic area, this is the presynaptic area. In between the presynapse and post synapse, is called the synaptic cleft. This area is called as glial cells or astrocytes. Now let's see the transmission. When the impulses generated in the neuron and transmitted in the axonal port, they are stimulate the vesicles of the presynapse and start to transport the glycine from the across the synaptic cleft. From the post synapse, they are bind with the ionotropic receptors and start to releasing of the chloride ions. These chloride ions are inhibit the post synaptic transmission. The remaining unbinding glycine neurotransmitter present in the synaptic plug 
they are transported only free signals through glycine transported to and they are stored in the vesicles for further use again the unobserved and unreuptake glycine is present in the synaptic cleft they are transported to the glial cell by the glycine transporter 1 and there it metabolized and inactivated whereas in excitatory neurons our glycine is go agonist with glutamate neurotransmitter so they are bind with the receptor NMDA or receptor and AMPA receptors here they are bind with glutamate side glutamate and glycine side they are bind with glycine they are start to releasing of the positive ions and they start to produce the physiological effect by excitatory actions the remaining unbinded glycine and glutamate present in the synaptic club they are transported in the glial cell astrocytes and there they are inactivated and metabolized so these are the pathway for the synthesis of neurotransmitter glycine and metabolism now let's see about the functions of the glycine it creates the muscle tissues and it also reduces the symptoms of prostatic hyperplasia, hyperplasia in men so these are about the neurotransmitter glycine thanks for watching this video kindly subscribe we will meet again